Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the differences in cream contour and powder contour and why you would use one or the other. I personally think it's personal preference or what you want to look like that day, but for me, I love doing both. I think that there are definitely pros and cons to either or, or you can even do them both, which a lot of people do, but that's really going to be up to you and what your comfortability level is. I think that as long as you have the right product, um, the right tools, the right techniques, you can really achieve whichever one you want. So I'm going to get started and go over some of the products that I like to do both and kind of some tips and tricks as to how you can do it. Okay, so I'm going to do one side of my face with cream contour and the other side with powder contour and I'm only going to be focusing on um, just the bronzing up of my face. I'm not going to be doing highlighter or concealer right now. I just didn't bring it down. So first we're going to start with cream contour. I'll do that on my right side. I have these two products right here. They're both the perfect foundation and I have shade Shinto Zero and it is MB5. So I have a wet beauty sponge. This is our blunderful sponge and I'm actually really liking this technique lately of spraying the sponge also with some setting spray so that it can just melt into the skin a little bit better. This is going to be the part where I apply my foundation and you can warm it up with your finger which is really the best way to do it and I also have some highlighter on my face right now so and a little bit of concealer that's all I had so we're gonna put this on we're gonna press the foundation into the skin pressing it and also just moving it around like so and remember we're gonna do foundation on both sides first then the difference in technique is going to be the bronze color. One's going to be cream, one's going to be a powder. Okay, now that you have your foundation on, this is how I'm going to do this right side with cream and the other side with powder. So I'm going to take a little bit of this shade right here warm it up with my fingers you're not going to need a lot of this it's really pigmented a lot comes off make sure your hair is out of the way now i think that if you're an oily person if, if you like a more dewy face you might really like just using cream contour and then um not even setting it with powder the good thing is is that if you have a good setting spray you won't really need to set it with powder if you like that dewy look or there's other ways that you can add back that dewy look once you put that powder on. So we're just gonna blend this in. Let me get out my mirror to be sure that I'm actually blending it. And you can build this color up if you want a little bit more. So I'm not gonna set this side of my face with powder. I'm actually just gonna set it with setting spray. And I'm gonna build up that contour just a little bit more. You're just gonna press the sponge in and kind of blend it back into your hairline because you want a lot more of that um, deep color to be on the outside shadows of your face. Okay, so now that this side is done, I'm gonna move on over to this side. So since I already put my foundation on, I'm going to set it with my powder right here this is the perfect translucent powder with this big um, eco tools bronze bookie brush that i got from ulta and i'm just going to press the translucent powder into my face right there okay now that i've done that i'm going to go ahead and take my contour shade number one right here and i'm going to take it on my morphe r14 brush to get some of that on there Tap off the excess and just go ahead and work it from the frame of my face down below my cheek in a three position, three, not position, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Put it right there, put it on the forehead, right here. And this, the nice thing about this is too, is it'll really last all day for you. And then you can even do it down the nose a little bit you like 
All right, now this is a really fun tip. So this is the cream contour side, which you can do nice, just melts into your skin, super beautiful. And this is the powder contour side. The nice thing about layering too is you get an even more dimensional look and it looks super beautiful. So how you would do that is you would take, I see here, so you can either set this if you want, just cream and just make nice and dewy throughout the day and this setting spray will let it sink in. Or you can do what I like to do. So remember, cream contour, powder contour. I like to put some translucent powder, set all that cream right there. Then I take my R14 again, and then I take my bronzer, and I go back over it. That way I get more dimension of color, a little bit more of a bronzy tone to my skin. And you don't need a lot of this bronzer. It's really pigmented and beautiful. So there we go. I think a lot of the main differences are preference and what you're comfortable with if you're not comfortable with cream you can go ahead and just set your foundation with your powder and then go with your brush and your contour or you can use both if you're more comfortable or depending on um, how much time you have you can do that too but I just wanted to show you different options and how easy it really is to contour your face and then you would just set it with your setting spray and then after that if you want a little bit of pop a highlight on your face you can use it after you set your face when it's still a little bit wet you can go into shade six glowing and I just don't have my other brush and just tap it on there and just get a little bit of that really pretty glowing shade right above the bronzer on the cheekbone and right on your forehead right there maybe the tip of your nose just get a little bit so there you have it. Let me know in the comment section below how y'all like to contour your face and I really hope that you enjoyed this video.